Alright guys, how are you doing? Welcome to episode 20 of Old School Completionist, starting off with 2700 silver kill count and a quick price check of some of the silver loot, this isn't everything, but a nice 118 mil uh, from silver so far. Well guys, <laughs> I was not recording when this happened, but this just happened, so, <coughs> oh my god, yeah, my voice is awful right now, but I just uh, killed the killed the boss, and I was like, why is there a snake still coming at me when the boss is dead? <laughs> it's the fucking pet. I just got the Zelvera pet. 2,871 KC. I was just so not expecting that at all. Um, but that's, that's so awesome. Holy shit. I mean, it's probably better to get unlucky on this one and get luckier on other ones, but it doesn't affect the chance. Um, so... On average, you'd make 400 mil, and I guess I made like 280 mil based on my kill count, but overall, it's still luck, so I really don't care. <laughs> that's so cool. I don't ever have to kill Zora again if I don't want. I guess if I want to get mutagens, that's one thing, but that feels so good, man. I've spent over 100 hours at this boss, so it's the boss that I've spent the most time at uh, past uh, Giant Mole not too long ago, so... Wow, that is, that is so crazy. I was not expecting that to happen at all. All right. First thing you always have to do when you get a new pet is make sure that it's insured. 500k, thank you very much. Five actual pets now, and then Chompy, which I haven't insured yet. Feels good, man. Well, in honor of the addition to the family, I'm going to sell this entire loot tab uh, and see how much it comes out to. It should be probably around 130 to 140 mil, I think, is my guess, so we shall see. Um, I might sell my PRS too, though. I'm not exactly sure, but... Yeah, I have a lot of money that's going to be incoming. I should be close to 400 mil cash stack once I sell off all this stuff. And also, uh, I'm going to sell my Third Age Mage Hat now that I have Solar Pet because there is no other reason for me to have it. Um, I might buy it back later after Ellie, but I might also sell my Arcane. I'm not sure about that yet because it does look pretty nice, and I might want it for Fashion Escape sometimes. Um, but I'm definitely going to sell this because it really doesn't have any purpose to me anymore. Alright, so I completely filled up all of my uh, toxic-related items, and I kept 15,000 scales just for future, uh, so I'll definitely use them. I'll probably, well, I'll definitely have to buy more in the future, but for now, I'm going to sell these off just to have the cash, so I'm selling them for 191 each, so this will be 25 mil, and they're going pretty quickly. And then I'm selling my third age mage hat. This should sell for around 38 mil. I'm going to leave it in here for a bit, see if it sells for this, and if not, then I'll drop it down. But between these two, that'll be another 63 mil, so... It's close to 200 mil that's going to be going into my bank, um, so that will bump my cash stack up to, like, 440 mil. So, over halfway to Ellie, um, and if I sell Arcane, Arcane, I'll have well over 500 mil cash, um, which brings me even closer to Ellie, so that's really, really cool. Really pumped about that, and I definitely should be able to get Ellie within the next, like, one to two months is my guess, so I'm pretty hyped for that. So there's Mage Hat finally just sold for 37.5 mil. Decided to do a bit more Scorpia, and here's an Odium Shard coming in real quick after only a few kills. And a KQ head on 1699 kill count on my KQ task. And here is the last kill of the KQ task, 851 tasks in a row, and I got the D chain this task, I believe, and I don't think I got anything else, so, um, pretty standard task, more what you'd expect, so. Going to start getting tax tasks from Duradel now, actually, and I got 130 Dark Beasts. I actually kind of fucked up because I forgot to turn off the increased Dark Beasts, because if I turn that off, then you get assigned, like, less than 20 Dark Beasts, and um, I turned that off later on in the video, and when you get Dark Beast tasks and you only have like 10 to 20 to kill, then you may as well just do it and get a few points since it's so fast. And I got a bunch of shit tasks in a row from uh, Daredell, I got Baron Spectres, which I cancelled, Sukas, which I actually blocked because they're quite common and the block list for uh, pet hunting is very different than the block list for Efficient Slayer. Um, you just want to block the most common tasks that don't drop pests, so Sukas on my block list right now. Bloodvelds are another one that I am going to block, actually, because they are um, quite common from Duradel as well. Once you get the proper block list, though, Duradel is slightly better for pet hunting than Neve. And he gave me a Chaos Elemental task. Fuck that. I hate Chaos Elemental so much. So, yeah, I cancelled that as well. And more Aberrant Spectres. Cancelled that. <laughs> Didn't have the greatest start with Duradel, but it should get better from here on. And finally, some Smoke Devils, so I'm going to go do that task and see what we get. So this week, Barbarian Assault got updated so that you can now store up to 5,000 points in each roll instead of 500 like previously. Um, it counts or it tracks your gambles each time you do a gamble. It shows in the chat box, and also you can stack queen kills up to 15. So some like sometimes you wouldn't be able to gamble even if you had 500 points because you didn't have a queen kill. Um, 
So it's really, really nice, and it makes the BA pad a little bit faster and just more convenient, really, because you don't have to interrupt the runs constantly to be uh, doing gambles. So I decided to do a fair bit of BA this week with some friends. It is my favorite minigame, so it's just it's so much fun. It takes a lot of practice and skill to get very good at it, especially like Defender and Healer. Um, and I still have a lot of practice to do, even if I've spent hundreds of hours there throughout old school and pre-UC and all that, so... Alright, this is an exciting moment in the history of my RuneScape account. Boom. Gold Castle Wars plate and legs. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good, holy shit. I've been wanting this for so long, and I finally got my 1400 tickets, which is really awesome. And I am pretty much halfway to a set, uh, like a full gold set. It's 2900, so I'm a little shy of halfway there. Wow, it feels so good, but yeah, it just looks so nice. I've been wanting to have this this gear for so long, just for the fashion scapes, and it's it's so real. Let's throw on some shit with this. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good. I can't wait to have a Mac cape with this. Holy shit. I'm really happy to get back to some BA, and if I do ever get this pet, which I hopefully will at some point, but it is actually the rarest pet time-wise, it takes on average like four to 500 hours to get this pet because it's one in a thousand and the gambles are like realistically probably about two per hour including time it takes to find new teammates and stuff like that you can do 20 minute queens without too much trouble but uh probably averages to like 25 to 30 minutes per queen including all the time you spend finding new uh teammates and i tried to do some more scorpia but the servers were very bad so i died and had to buy back my shit so i'm probably not going to do any more scorpia until they um get the servers a bit more stable but yeah, just lots and lots more BA gambles, and uh, I did a decent amount of Castle Wars as well. Alright, there is my Thermi task finish, and I got an Occult Necklace on the last kill of the task for the 450 kill count. In total, I'm at like 1300-something Smoke Devil, but that a lot of it was pre-counter. And I got an 11 Black Dragon task from Duradel. I did actually buy the extension to Black Dragons after this, but uh, I may as well do it at KBD. Got some Water Fiends, cancelled that. And I got some Dark Beast. This is 18 Dark Beast without the task boost, so I decided to just do that because it's such a fast one that you may as well just do it instead of skipping it um, and get a few extra points. And then he gave me a task of Crazy Archaeologist, and I decided to do three of them because this is probably the easiest boss in the game. Um, you just bring a whip there and attack it and it takes like a minute to kill. So I went and did that, get the 5k Slayer XP also, which is pretty nice. And I finally got a Kraken task, something I can actually do. Alright, so I just did a 69 kill trip, that was my first Kraken task since the counter. And I'm going to throw all this stuff in the price checker. Take this out. Uh, so 1.5 mil, no unique drops either from 69 kills. So I'm going to see what the average is. 1504 divided by 69. An average of 22k per kill for just regular kills. And you can kill about 60 to 65 of these per hour. So this times, you can kill 65 pretty easily. 1.4 mil an hour just from regular drops. That's actually quite good. I didn't realize that it, this boss was that good. I mean, these drops seem pretty average to me, so uh, let you know if it seems different. But yeah, that's not including unique drops, and it's still that price. And all you're using basically is sharks and trident charges, actually. I used 1k trident charges. I'll have to calculate how much that costs. So this is how much the trident of the swamp costs per cast, 510 GP. So I used 1,000 casts, which is 500k cost and made 1.4 mil uh or would be 1.4 mil uh per hour um so yeah that's kind of interesting i guess it's more like 900k to a mil an hour which is still pretty good surprisingly good for this boss especially for how afk it is but yeah as i said it's like 60 to 65 per hour which actually makes it pretty much the fastest kills per hour boss that exists in this game which is kind of inter interesting and it's also one of the most afk bosses as well and Kraken task is completed, no unique drops from this task, but that's fine, still made a decent amount of money. New task is going to be AVNCs, and I bought the extension for AVNCs, so 235, that's going to last quite a while. Got the four ecumenical keys, I have one in my bank, so that'll last me a bit. And this is something that I actually added to the completionist list this week. Um, it is to get a crab helmet and a crab claw, which are two untradeable cosmetic items that you can get after doing the... Um, I forget which section it is, but part of the recipe for disaster where you have to go underwater and everything, you can go down there, you can kill these crabs, and they have a chance of dropping um, a crab claw and a crab something or other else, and you can use a chisel on those to make the crab claw and crab helm uh, that you can wield. Most of you guys have probably seen them and heard of them, but I figured I would go ahead and get these. It's kind of similar deal to like the flipper and mud skipper hat and things like that. 
untradeable cosmetics that are sort of completionist-ish. Not like actually, but they're still kind of fun. So I went there, it only took a couple of minutes, made the two uh, little items, and uh, called it a day. So one more thing that I added recently to the completionist list that is 100% completionist because it is completable and non-repeatable, and it can never be removed from your account, is activating Ceridomen's Light, and what this does is it removes the darkness from the uh, Zamorak area of Godward's Dungeon, and it is dropped by the Ceridomen boss. It's pretty cheap, it was only like 700k, so I figured I'd do that real quick and take that off the list. So I'm back to a bit more Castle Wars. Uh, I haven't gained too many tickets today because the crashing has been pretty bad. It tends to happen with the uh, most common clan for this, um, so it's kind of annoying, but uh, there are other clans that are surfacing that are going to remain private uh, for this exact reason um, that I will probably be using in the future, but yeah, I'm pretty much halfway to being done with the Castle Wars set, so I'll continue to work on that uh, whenever I have work to do. Um, so that will happen over time. There are people that are going crazy with Castle Wars right now. So a lot of people are going for gold set now, which is really cool to see, honestly. Um, it'll be interesting to see how many people get the set in the next few months. Um, but yeah, Castle Wars is fun, and uh, this is going to be it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that it's a little bit short, and sorry that it's out a little later in the day than usual. I just had some technical difficulties and complications, but I will be doing my armadillo task. I might be streaming tonight, so I will let you guys know on Twitter if I'm going to. I'm not positive yet, but... Yeah, we shall see what happens, so thank you guys for watching the video today, hopefully you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like, and I will see you all later with more videos and streams.